The John Muir Way is a 134-mile coast-to-coast walk. One of Scotland's great trails, it offers a journey through Scotland's landscapes, history and heritage. Traversing central Scotland, it links Helensburgh in the west with John Muir's birthplace in Dunbar in the east and is fully waymarked for walking and cycling. John Muir emigrated to America while still a boy and became the father of the American National Parks and is a key figure in the conservation movement. The trail opened in 2014 to commemorate the 100th anniversary of Muir's death. Welcome to another video. Brora and I are off on another adventure. So this time last week we were walking part of the John Muir Way from Yellow Craig to Dunbar and we're back doing another bit of the John Muir Way today but a shorter section so we're at Cramond. We've just um, come through Cramond Village and we're on the River Almond Walkway and we're basically heading for um, Queensferry Road and then we're going to follow the John Muir Way into the city centre of Edinburgh um, I've got a couple of wee bits and pieces to buy there so I've got the van with me and it's all packed up and we're away for a couple of nights in the van just a wee camper van trip so this is just the start of our trip and um, that'll be another wee section of the John Muir Way ticked off so this is a lovely um, wee walkway, I've done this before. This isn't part of the John Muir Way, so I'm on the, the way up to it, but I'll just show you this bit here. Chickens. Is it chickens? Come on. So after a little bit of confusion on my part, <laughs> we're back on the John Muir Way. We just joined it here. Um, it comes over the old Crammond Brig and basically heads straight on, whereas we continue to follow the almond just for a couple of minutes. So we're on the right track now. Here we go. Three ponies. Come on, you. We've just come into this um, walkway and it's part of the National Cycle Route as well. So, quite pleasant. There's a golf course over there. Um, yeah, it's quite nice. This is a plain spotter's paradise. There's planes, low flying planes. Um, gosh, about every five minutes overhead. So we've just come into Kerstorfen Walled Garden, just on our way up to Kerstorfen Hill. We've just come into the Walled Garden for lunch just because I saw the benches and um, it looks nice. So we're going to have some lunch here and we must be more than halfway now. Um, but it's been quite varied, been walking through some housing estates, 
along some busy roads through parkland. But that's the city centre. <laughs> so it's really warm. Brora's needing lots of water. <clears throat> oh, that's nice. Nice view. There's a cruise ship out there. Cool. Here we go. So. It's now nearly two o'clock, but I'm not really in a rush. I'm not in a campsite tonight. I'm just going to park up for the night, east off North Berwick. And then tomorrow night, I've booked into Yellow Creek Caravan and Motorhome Club site. I got a shock at the price, even though I'm a member, it's still 25.50 a night. So I thought one night's enough. Um, but I was so taken with the beach when I went there last week, I thought I'm going to go back. Um, so I might go and visit John Muir's birthplace in Dunbar. I don't have time to go in and uh, explore it. So I might do that as well um, tomorrow or Friday. So heading home on Friday. So we've got two, two nights away. Yeah, so looking forward to it. And I've got wine. <laughs> that wine always helps. So that is the Pentlands over there and you can see um, the ski centre and the dry ski slope. Very tempting to jump on a tram but I'll keep going. <laughs> There's one there. So that's the water of Leith. We're going to be following that and the opposite direction for a while. And there is the home of Scottish Rugby, Murrayfield. So, we're just going to go down here. Water of Leith walkway.
we're basically um, almost at the end of the Union Canal. The end of the canal is just along there. Leamington Lift Bridge. So that's it, basically the end of the canal there. So I've never been here. And we're heading up here. The John Muir Way goes up here. So we're nearly at the end of it. Or the end of our section, not the end of the way. So but I'm thinking we might just get the bus back to Cram and... Oh. It's really hard to vlog. There's people everywhere. So I'm thinking we might just get the bus back to Cramond because I've got a couple of things to buy in the city centre and it's already uh, five to four. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if our walk's been about 12 miles. It's certainly not been direct. So we're going to make our way um, to the sort of end point, which is Toll Cross. Here's another one. Thirsty dog. Come in. So I managed to find a park up for the night eventually. We're probably a couple of miles east of Dunbar, just in a wee kind of um, bit off the road really. Um, there's a graveyard just over there. So there's no signs that say no overnight parking. So I was kind of desperate. So it's now 20 past nine and I've just made dinner. So we're having well, I'm having fajitas, so it's corn fajitas, and um, Rora's had her dinner. So um, I'm looking forward to exploring a bit round about Dunbar tomorrow and probably going to visit uh, John Muir's birthplace. So I'm going to have my fajitas. I've got a glass of wine, and um, hopefully nobody will disturb us. The police came down in the car, passed us, and then, then they went back again. So I thought, oh, are they going to say something? But um, obviously they know I'm here overnight because they've seen the windscreen uh, covers on, but um, they never said anything. So hopefully I'll be fine here. Um, yeah, it's quite a difficult to find a park up. There's actually very few laybys um, or places to pull in. So fingers crossed I'll be fine. Um, <clears throat> obviously I'll leave no trace. And it was actually about a, nearly a 13 mile walk today from Cramond into the city centre. Um, so we got the bus back to Cramond and thankfully we did, otherwise we would have been even later. So it's a good walk and that's another bit of the John Muir Way done. <clears throat> so thanks so much for watching. I might bring you back tomorrow um, if there's anything interesting. Um, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.